How to register. To register for HomeSwapper, you'll need to be a social housing tenant. The first step is to put your first name, last name, and email address into the form and create a password for your HomeSwapper account. Make sure it's something you'll remember. If you don't have an email address, don't worry. Simply click here and sign up by creating a username instead. Once you've filled this in, you'll be asked for a few more details, including your date of birth, gender, if you want to say, and how keen you are about swapping. Have a think about this. Are you using HomeSwapper just to browse homes, or are you going to be a dedicated user? To avoid upsetting other users, it's really important to let people know honestly whether you're serious or not about swapping. Here you'll see an option to show if you're interested in multi-swaps. This is to let people who are building manual multi-swaps know that you are happy to be included. If you know for sure that you'd be interested in building or joining a manual multi-swap, then go ahead and tick this box. But don't worry if you're undecided now, you can always go back and register your interest in this in the future. If you want to know more about multi-swaps, we have other help videos that will tell you more. You can now choose your display name, which is how other swappers will see you on HomeSwapper. Make sure you put a nice photo up so swappers know who you are. You can do this by clicking here. Next, it's time to show how many people you'll be living with in your new home. This is shared with your landlord so they can help you find swaps with the right number of bedrooms. And remember, don't forget to include yourself in the people to count for your home. It's now time to think about the home you want. Firstly, you'll need to put in the location you want to live in, as well as how far to that specific area you're happy to look. Remember that the greater your search area, the more chance you'll have of finding a swap. Save your location, and if you want to, add another. You can add as many locations as you like here, or if you're happy to live anywhere within the UK, you can simply tick the box underneath the location finder. Once you're happy with your locations, you can choose the type of home you're looking for Choose as many as you want. You can now put in the minimum and maximum bedrooms you'll need in your new home. And finally, the amount of rent you're happy to pay. Be careful here that you choose the correct amount for either the week or the month. The final section in the home I want is about the features you need. You should only choose the elements in this list that you need as choosing more than necessary will really limit the amount of matches you can make. At the bottom you can write additional information about what you're looking for and the reasons why to help other swappers understand what you need. Now it's time to fill in the information about the home you've got. You should put your address in using either the postcode finder or type it in manually by clicking here. Now you can enter the name of your landlord. Start typing the name of your landlord in the box. Make sure you have the right spelling and you'll be given options for their name. If your landlord is partnered with us, then the service will be completely free of charge. After you've completed this, Simply fill out the type of tenancy you have, and you'll be taken to the next step. Now, follow the same steps as in the Home I Want section, but for the home you currently have. If you receive housing benefit, you can show this here.
make sure you tell Swappers all about your home here in the Features section. By adding a bit of extra detail at the bottom of the page, this can really bring your advert to life. Finally, add some lovely pictures of your home to show Swappers what a great place they could be moving into. 90% of successful swaps have at least one photo. You're now registered. You'll just need to wait for your landlord to approve your account, and then you'll be up and running.